We want to nice cook. This is Kirky on his pink machine. Look at that. He's carried this three ton canoe. This guy is so tired now, he's got to lie down for a week. Oh, he is buggered. Look at that focus, gentlemen. This is what you do when you come to Salmon Bay. You focus. Look at that. Look at that body of a beast. <laughs> no, it gets into medium clothing. You wouldn't believe it. I'll tell you what, it was a struggle putting this live jacket on this morning. Yeah. I'll tell you that again. Yeah. Yeah, that mistake more. brought uh, Brendan's live jacket and Brendan's, <laughs> it looks like his pants. This is a very tight on him. Yeah, no, it's been a bit of a struggle. Lockdown's been good. <laughs> yeah, Kirk survived lockdown. <laughs> right? Kirk, you talk to us. What's up, man? Right? Fat and flourishing. Yeah, okay, mate. Yes, it's been a while since I've launched on the kayak. So, um, we're going to give it a go this morning at Salmon. Yeah. You uh, gave me one or two reports that divers had seen some, uh, some, some tuna. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, right on this shallow inside wreck just off the back line. So, we're going to go and see if we can get some bait. Well, my plan is going to go and get some bait. Pull a couple of baits around where they yeah, saw the fish, absolutely. and then maybe come on the inside later for a garrick or something. I don't know. That's that's the plan. That's, yeah, that's the plan. So. Okay, excellent. I like yeah. I like the plan. We here at uh, Salmon Bay. Generally, right in the breakers here is quite a mean shore break. Normally on a high tide. At the moment, it's pretty chill because it's a it's a full low now. So what happens there is your tide actually drains out, and uh, the shore break relaxes a bit. You get into a mid break spot here at Salmon where you can just wait. For your gap. I'm going to take you along for the ride. We're going to film the launch and uh, yeah, hopefully we check you on the back line unscathed. This little pink milkshake I've got going on here. It's a, a kayak that I'm actually trying out from one of our, our good friends down the south coast, Brian Jacob, Legend Kayak. Uh, it's the new Legend Trident. Let's push through and see, what, see what's going on. <sighs> Here we go. Right, let's see what happens. Trying to get used to a, a new ski here. Uh. Like I said, paddling it for the first time. Not ideal to be paddling it on a, on a day like today. But we're gonna give it, give it a go. All right guys, you ready to go? Let's go, let's go. Are you sweating or are you wet? You bring the oxygen, boy. It's <laughs> like I've got COVID here, boy. Uh, now you look great, eh? Is this your wife's ski? Look at this pure athleticism. Oh. Yeah, that was tough, eh? Are you alright there, kid? Dry. I don't want to lie to you, but eh? I did get water on my finger. Is <laughs> that annoyed? The most dangerous section is this section at Zimbabwe coming around the point. Be very careful fishing the slip because it really builds on this bank here. Let's have a look at the trace. Straight, one, one ounce onto the swivel. As you can see, about a meter and a half fluorocarbon. You'll see I put a loop knot. So, let's go to the bait. The first bait of choice is those little pinkies with a dot, not the sand soldier. Pinky, Chad, or a small mozzie. I just take it, I make sure that I get a decent hook up in the mouth at the top so that I don't just pull the bait off. Okay, in the water, and then I just let him. So I'll put him about, I don't know, 10 meters behind the ski, very light drag. And then I'm gonna get out of here because we are in a cut place. See here. Watch out, it's feeding. You see, I'm not even touching the rod. Let's see if he, if he still has it. I'm going to freeze pull him. 
Let him swallow it properly. I'm leaving the rest on so you can hear. Okay, so he's now got it in his gill plate. He's running now. All I'm going to do is I'm going to set the drag tighter. Okay, I'm going to wind him tight. Okay. So you saw how he feeds there. He feeds very slowly until you have him on the line. What I love about Gaelic fishing is when they come to the boat, they uh, then they get mad. You'll see there's a lot of head, head shaking of the tip of the rod here. All right, I'm going to go to the back and then I'll just load it with him. It's really not difficult to load it. Hey? Just keep his head up. Not bad, huh? Not bad for an amateur. There he is. Beautiful Garrick, nice and healthy, lovely shot, all right, and say cheers to the camera, let's get to safety. Woo boy! <laughs> oh my goodness, so we've been sitting off Belito here, and I've been puzzling for bait, puzzling for bait, and I've got a couple of, uh, like, oh, I got a couple of baits, um, got a couple of mackerel and, and some mollies and uh, we're right in the shallow spot here, we're on 14 meters and we just, uh, myself and Claire were sitting here catching baits and, uh, and, and the plan was to stick around the shallow area from the get go because that's where these guys had been seeing these tuna and what's happened now is we hooked up cover, hooked up here then Yes! So it's been overexcited here boys, overexcited. And um, yes, I tell you, I'm so chuffed I had this braid backing on my reel because it went straight into the braid. I've probably got about 200 meters of 40 pound top structure. So that's just a, a 40 pound monofilament line. I use a Maxima Ultra Green. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely line. I've got a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. And then, um, it's definitely a tuna of some sort. There he is, right here. What is? What have we got here? Yes, hello. Okay, let's get get busy. Port, 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 you know. Come on, you tell him. That's what you ran off properly. Oh, can you guess the fish? Just slacking off on the drag. Oh, get him under control. Oh, it's a small, small tunny. Probably about. Uh, oh, so it wouldn't be. Not more than uh, five kilo, six kilos, I'd say. That gummer got to the timing that I was talking about earlier. Look at that hook set, chaps. Look at that. Right in what they call the scissors, and it just comes out. So the pressure is keeping that fish, keeping it in there. So it's gonna wiggle a bit now. So there we go, boys. Little tuna ski. Yo, cousins. Oh, man. Come on, Yo, boys, that was exhilarating, man. Flipping all that thing burnt me into my backing. Um, what a fish, man. What a fish. Small fish, but flip it so that it be back on the side. Okay? Oh, my goodness. I hope you've learned something today. I'm going to beach out at salmon. The mid break's very bad. So I'm waiting now for the radio caller. From Don Rupi from May, Slayer, DC 5D. Bye, donkey. Woo! Woo! You know, guys, the silicone really works. <laughs>